A one, two, one, two. All right, everyone, let's have a look at The Grasshopper. I won't try to say the actual name of this piece because I have no idea how to pronounce that. Anyway, this piece is based upon the fifth and the major chord, okay? So if we're looking at the left hand, for example, it's always playing a fifth until the very last two measures of this piece. So we're playing this kind of Jumping fifth, always trying to make sure you slur all three notes, playing the last note short. Okay, and you notice that happens for two entire lines before it jumps down here. Although those look like different notes, they're exactly the same note, guys. Okay, take the time to read it before we play it. But that's the left hand, it's actually quite easy. Now the right hand, also starting on the D or the Re, right? It starts and then embellishing exactly that, playing B major, E major on thirds. Now D major and E major have sharps on the third of the chord, okay? Which is why those sharps are written there. And then it embellishes a little further. This time, instead of the third, it's playing the fifth. play that, try and make that crescendo to forte like I just did. Okay, let's try that together. All right, it's quite easy. It's just a fifth going up and going down our scale. Okay, let's try it together. One, two, three, four, ready, go. Yeah, not too bad, is it? Let's try it again. Two, three, four, ready, go. Looking at the right hand further, the next two measures or the next two bars are the same as the first two bars, where you play a single note and then D major, E major. Now in measure seven, here we go. We're going to play basically what we played in measure three, but this time adding the third and playing major chords only, D major, E major, F major, G major, F, and ending on D major. So it would really help to practice those four chords. D, E, F, G. F, E, D. And you can just keep it like, to practice it, just practice going up and down. Playing staccato every time. And when you feel really good about it, you can stop and stop on D, all right? Then you're ready to play the rest of this piece because if you see the last line, it does the exact same thing, except it adds a C major chord, which we should be pretty good at playing, all right? Once you reach that last D chord, the left hand finally does something slightly different. It keeps keeping the same rhythm, but not only playing separate notes, you have to read those. And then you have to cross over, watch out, there is a treble clef sign there. Okay, so the left hand has to cross, cross over the right hand and play basically the same two notes, but this time start with your third finger. Because it goes up to the E. And then we hold it. Okay, good luck, that's it. Good luck with your preparations and we'll see you next time. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking on that like button and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.